All right, folks, I just picked up a Microlux uh, Micromark 7x14 inch variable speed lathe. I, um, as you all know, I'm a huge proponent of the tag mill, but unfortunately the tag lathe doesn't have the uh, driven gear lead screw here, which allows you to cut threads and is just a little bit smaller. doesn't include the sort of built-in variable speed motor, so I uh, went ahead and purchased an import lathe. I uh, just got it today. I've never used a lathe before, but got it all assembled. Um, definitely assembly wasn't too bad, but perhaps more than I thought. It took me, you know, a little over an hour. Uh, so just want to give you a quick uh, walkthrough of the unit here. So I've got it plugged in, and the way you turn it on is by flipping up this switch. You can now see our LEDs for the spindle speed RPM light up, and we've got a green light here. So I just move it into the forward position. And then I'll go ahead, and I'm in low gear right now, I'll go ahead and start the rheostat here. And as you can see, um, the RPM meter reads in uh, increments of 20, uh, which I have a feeling is plenty precise, but uh, nevertheless doesn't have the fine attenuation. And in the, in the low gear, it goes up to 1200, and then when you switch into high gear, it'll go up to 3000. It gets a little bit louder when you get up higher as you can hear but um, not really not all that too bad especially given that um, it's not a super heavy unit to begin with and I don't have it bolted down to anything um, I got my tool post here it comes with this little uh, guard here's my cross feed here's my uh, carriage slide here's the saddle and um, I'm still learning here but Along with the ability to cut threads, you can also engage the lead screw to uh, as a power feed. I'll hold the camera steady. Actually, you can see it better on the wheel that the wheel itself is moving. So we'll be, I'll be curious to see how that works. I have gone ahead and chucked up a piece of half-inch aluminum in there, but I uh, don't think I'm going to delve in just yet tonight as I need to do a little bit of reading. Um, but overall, pretty happy with it so far. It didn't come with any of the massive amounts of red grease that some of the other imports come with, which frankly is nice. Um, so, yeah, actually I'll uh, go ahead and turn the RPMs down, move it back into zero. Now to move it into high gear, you see the lever back here. Now if I scoot it over, that doesn't actually go all the way over. you got to rotate the chuck a little, and now it scoots over. Uh, so now, if I move back to forward, turn my adjustment, you'll see with quite quickly you're up to 700 and I'm not going to turn it up all the way right now, but uh, plenty, I think hopefully plenty of speed there and I'll be sure to post more here as I learn and start making cuts. I also just wanted to show uh, some of the other items that the lathe itself came with, as well as some of the accessories I purchased. Uh, it came with the gears here, which are for cutting different TPI threads. came with a couple of the uh, Allen keys and the wrenches, uh, an empty oiler bottle, the M I think this is an MT2 um, center for the uh, tailstock, and then it came with the uh, Chuck for the uh, oh the uh, it came with the key ch the chuck key for the chuck. Um, it also came with three additional um, I think they are wider um, thread or wider clamp pieces for that. And then I believe I purchased additionally um, the rocker tool post. These two items are. Uh, the quick change cutter rests. I purchased a set of tools. Um, I purchased the cutoff tool holder, and then I purchased a four jaw independent. Um, I'm still coming up to speed on all this, so as I start to delve in, I'll be sure to post more. But uh, one of the main reasons I purchased some of this is that I was able to catch the tail end of Micromark's summer sale, so felt like it was a pretty good deal. That's it. Take care, everyone.